If I had to tell you straight up if I got my dollars worth out of Zombie Shooter, the answer would be yes. It's a clunky, repetitive game, but with the fact that it literally runs on anything, along with the cheap asking price, it's far from the worst game you could spend an hour or two on. There is almost no story to speak of outside of a slight backstory for the two playable characters. Your goal in the game? Who really cares? All you need to know is that your job is to blast away hordes of zombies, mutants, and random vermin. Zombie Shooter is an isometric, top-down arcade game with swarm combat, where you have to smear and destroy ever increasing hordes of the undead. You get your hands on a small arsenal that slowly grows every couple of missions, and you can upgrade their stats along with your own. It's all incredibly standard for this type of game, even including a wonky live system and scoring for no other reason than to brag on the extremely empty Steam community section for the game. Also, if you're hoping for multiplayer, since it would have made sense for this type of game, you're going to be very disappointed. There are also two horde modes included, one where you run around a fairly empty field, while the zombie numbers increase, with you killing round bosses to get better guns. And there's also a mode where you play as a stationary turret. I actually found both of these modes more addicting than the main mode, strangely enough. Enemies consist of slow shambling zombies, fast rats and dogs, biohazards that come in big and bigger sizes, and that's about it. Well, at least from what I saw. The larger enemies can take forever to kill, even with upgraded weapons, and they just aren't all that fun to fight. The smaller enemies shred upon impact, and they're at least satisfying enough to kill, even though they don't really put up much of a fight. Speaking of the massive groups of zombies, I will definitely give the game credit for that, because the amount of enemies and gory carnage on screen does please me quite a bit. It never got old to completely paint the entire level red with gore. Guns felt alright, with weapons like the laser minigun and rocket launcher being fun distractions from the fairly generic lineup on offer. All the weapons felt oddly satisfying when they actually would hit enemies, but the weapon spread could sometimes be disgustingly inaccurate, which would make them feel much weaker than they actually were. But even when your accuracy skills were upgraded, it's still doesn't feel all that great. Levels were all mostly the same feeling facilities and bases and generic stuff like that. They were all extremely linear and had the same objective of find bomb, use bomb, leave. You also got two barren survival maps on offer as well for their respective modes, but the levels all started to blend together and they definitely didn't feel inspired in the slightest. Performance wise, this game could probably run on anything flawlessly. I tested the game on both my main rig, which is overkill for almost every game, and on my work laptop, which is running a GT 620, and on both pieces of hardware, it ran just fine, despite all the on-screen action. Regardless of how well it ran, however, the game had a horrible tendency of crashing straight to the desktop more than half the times I died. I originally was going to finish the game, but after a particularly annoying crash that forced me to restart the entire level, along with the fact that my younger sister brought home a big cup of Baja Blast for me, it was safe to say that I was just ready to write the review instead of trying to get an ending that would most likely be either extremely underwhelming if there was anything at all in the first place. There were also a few glitches, nothing too game-breaking save for the time I got stuck in some scenery and had to die to get out. Most of the glitches just really came down to enemies becoming more brain-dead than they already were, which caused them to spin around in place. Graphically, the game will probably not appeal to most people, but I actually found myself liking these throwback-feeling graphics a whole lot. They reminded me of games like Postal or Fallout, and overall, it gives me this really oddly comfy vibe. All the monsters look neat, even if they do feel like they were lifted straight from other games, Games, the gore and death animations were incredibly satisfying, and I liked that each of the guns and armor visually changed. Sound-wise, the game was fairly... eh. It wasn't horrendous, but it became extremely grating and repetitive extremely fast. Guns all sounded incredibly similar, and the music was on a loop until it stopped for a few seconds before starting again. <laughs> not to mention the fact that there's only like one track in the entire game outside the title theme, and the enemy sound effects were bland and stock. With all that said, I know I bashed the game pretty harshly, but honestly, for the dollar I spent on it while it was on sale a while back, I don't regret my purchase. This is definitely not a game you play in long bursts. This is the kind of game you get to play on your laptop while waiting for classes at college or for the bus or while you're at a coffee shop and can't run anything else on your crap top. It's far from perfect, it's incredibly janky, and it becomes mind-numbing after a short while. And it's also incredibly disappointing that there isn't any multiplayer, but if you're looking for a game that you can play while listening to a podcast or while chatting with friends, you could definitely do a lot worse. As always, if you want to help support the channel, please consider sharing the video with a friend or checking out my Patreon linked in the description below. A big, big thank you to my wonderful friend Orion Knight for drawing up these wonderful animation stills of Punish Need. If you have any comments, questions, or recommendations, leave them in the comments as I read and reply to everything. Until next time, this is Theor Williamson signing off until the next video. See you guys!